Alright, so we just got home from my sister's and I'm just about to do a bit of bulk cooking for the coming days. We've got basically one and a half kg of lean kangaroo mince made up into meatballs and kangaroo patties. And they're delicious and fuck, the macros, you can't really beat them. These, cake, these um, burger patties. Each one, 27 grams of protein, three grams of fat, one gram of carbs. And these meatballs, which actually have some tomato through them, have 27 grams of protein, one gram of fat, and five grams of carbs. So, they're fucking decent. Tell you what, get on. This game. This is games too. What a day, what a day. But I've got a day off tomorrow. Fuck yeah. That is some good news. Anyways, um, what are we gonna talk about? Just got home from work. It's a um, long day, 10 hour day. Um, I told you guys earlier that I was training someone today, which went 
okay, you know, you've, you've got to be on your toes, man. You've got to be on the ball all day. And um, it's a 10 hour shift. It's about eight o'clock at night now. Um, but I think I, like, I, I, we actually talked. We talked like the whole entire day. And so I, now I know I'm like the back of my hand, you know what I mean? Like, well, it feels like I do. And I suppose you've got to give everyone a chance. And I didn't even know the cunt before I started working today, so it was probably probably pretty bad on my behalf to to go into the situation feeling like I was this morning, which was like can't be fucked. But um, no, it was good. The client was all right today, so you know, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day when the client's good. It's a good day. So I parted some wisdom on Reese. Is his name? And we had a great time. So, anyways, uh, it was actually really cool because I I haven't edited any of this footage yet. So but I've you know I've got hours. I've actually got hours of footage so far. Um, so today I actually had a, a bit of spare time while my client was in town um, to actually sit down on my laptop and you know crack into things. Like when I get home and I've got shit to do on the computer, it's like well I'd much rather just go and watch YouTube. <laughs> But when I'm at work and I'm actually getting paid, um, fuck, I'll, I'll knuckle down to anything. You know, anything that's not work related is like bonus because I'm getting paid. So that's what I did today. Um, I put together the first couple of vlogs, which I'm excited about. I'm really excited to bring this series to you. Um, I'm tightening up, which is the main thing. Um, you know, getting leaner again. Uh, I've still got quite a lot around the lower abs and around the lower back, but I know that you know once I start really getting into that, then my body is going to change a lot. Um, once you know, no no mass is going to go from my my shoulders or my traps or anything. It's all it's all going to come from my waist. So what that basically means is that the V taper goes from being like that, like that to like that, and you guys will know. Um, even taking off a couple of inches off your waist is going to cause a dramatic change in the way your physique looks, especially if you're relatively lean to start with, which, you know, I'm not fat. So anyways, that's exciting. I'm obviously sticking to the diet well, um, and it's, it's, it's working, which is great. A um, couple of things I've got to do tomorrow, which I'll say now because otherwise I'll forget is I got my car booked in for a service. So I got the day off. I've got a couple of things I need to do. Car's booked in for a service. And I have an appointment with the uh, bank manager finally. So I haven't been able to get in, you know, since since I made the offer on the place, on my house, uh, investment property. So finally I'm actually gonna go and see him um, and put together a proper application for the full purchase price because I actually only got approved for 250k when I'm actually going to need about 280. Um, so that's that's a bit stressful, but it's okay. So we'll go in there tomorrow, see how we are. I checked my fucking post office box for the first time, like in a couple of weeks, and yeah, <laughs> I think I think I'm going to have anxiety checking my fucking post office box from now on because I got so much shit here. And it's bills, and it's confirmation of payment arrangements, and it's all sorts of shit. Because a couple of weeks ago, probably about three weeks ago, I actually made a video on my channel about finally going through all of my finances and getting everything you know in place, um, in order, payment arrangements in place for things that I'd let go. Because uh, for a, for a while there, you know, I just wasn't, I, I wasn't giving a fuck about my finances. I thought, right, I've bought the house. That's the main thing, you know, I got that loan, this place I'm talking about, not the second one, and I just let everything slide, you know, and my rego was out, uh, my license has been suspended because I didn't pay fines, um, you know, my Telstra bill was fucking overdue, I had a credit card that was overdue, you know, it was all, it all really, really mounted up, so I'm really glad that I finally got it, got everything in place, um, got everything in, in order. Um, which I would recommend that you guys do as well, depending on your situation. You know, I'm, I'm 25. I've got quite a few expenses now, nowadays. It's not like I was living at home anymore. Um, so I would recommend 
you know, knuckling down one day, writing up an Excel spreadsheet on the computer, which is what I did, and budgeting, you know, knowing how, much, how many expenses are actually coming out of your account. Because at that stage, when I, when I did that, I was just about to put in an offer on a second property. And I thought, well, before I do anything stupid, I really need to know whether I can actually afford this. And it turns out that, you know, it's going to be a stretch, but I can. And I have, yeah, decided on a property and it's all go. It's all great. I'm excited. But in the meantime, I have all of this shit to fucking deal with. And it's just, it's statements and a couple of bills there, so I'll pay them tomorrow too. But um, I'm feeling good. Everything's... Everything's sweet. I've actually got one of these. Oh look. It means the packages are my my Well what is it? Oh no, that actually might be the um TMJ hoodie and the SUPS that I got the other day. Cause I haven't checked it since then, so maybe I don't have anything. That is that's gonna suck. But anyways, uh it's eight o'clock at night, finished a ten hour day. I fasted until three o'clock. Um, I ate a little bit, fuck, I sound like a broken record, but every night I sort of go over my calories and then wake up with a little bit of regret and fast for the first at least, you know, six hours I'm awake, five or six hours, uh, by which time I'm hungry as fuck and I basically inhale my food. <laughs> but um, since three till about eight o'clock tonight, five hours I've had about a thousand calories, I'm not feeling too bad. Although I am going to have something else before I go to the gym. And then I will be smashing another workout as per usual. You know how we do it. I did back yesterday, big back session. Um, I did chest the day before. Um, triceps and legs the day before that. I don't even fucking know. But anyways, last night I was meant to hit biceps after doing back, so I'm going to do biceps, and I will be coupling that with something else as well, but I'm not sure what. So, that'll be good. Trying to pump in these fucking buys. Not bad, not bad. I'd like it to be up here though. That'll be pretty sweet. One day. Anyway, that's enough talking for now. I will take my camera to the gym, get a bit of footage. I hope you guys have been liking my uh, footage in the gym. You know, um, I'm not doing anything different to what I normally do. I'm just training normally. It's just I'm setting up a camera. Um, so if you guys want to see voiceovers or you just want music to the background or, you know, whatever you want to see, let us know because I'm all about the people and this channel will be nothing without, you know, you guys. So I really appreciate all the support once again, and um, I'll see you in the next clip. All right, we're nearly ready, decked out in the gym stees, white on white tee, and the black track shorts and tights. Feeling like I got swag. I'm gonna be the swaggiest swagmaster in the gym. But actually first, I need to take these fucking ugly glasses off. and put some contacts in. So whenever you see me without glasses, I'm guaranteed to have contacts in. I can't see shit without it. I can't even see like hardly that camera. So I'm a blind motherfucker who needs glasses. Needed them since I was five. It's actually funny, man. Uh, I used to want to sit at the back of the class like everyone else does, but I literally could not see anything on the board. So my work would only go as fast as the person beside me. Because <laughs> I'd have to copy everything off their book. But that brings back some memories. If only, if only I was as confident as I am now when I was at high school. Then I would have worn glasses every single day and had a much better time. But at that age, you care far too much about what anyone else thinks, and you're not gonna wear glasses, are you?
Oops. What are you going to do?